Hello and um, welcome to my channel. I, I'm, I'm doing revision on GCSEs, Physics, Chemistry, Biology and Maths because we're, we're now on the countdown. We've been on the countdown from a couple of weeks ago. We're closer and closer to the day of the exam. But don't worry, like I always say, keep keeping positive and whatever you do, keep revising. Don't stop revising. Even if you think you already know the topic, just take another look. And another look and the more you do that you know there's there's power in reputation the more you look at it the more your brain stores it so that when you're sitting in, in front of your paper that day you'll be able to recall it right so I'm gonna quickly do this one it says it could be asked as a sysmark question in biology and is the adaptations of xylem and the phloem vessels just like you have blood vessels in animals like uh, you have the vein and the arteries you also have vessels in plants which uh, carry substances as well specifically the xylem transports water transpiration and the phloem transports food sucrose after it's produced in uh, the leaves uh, at the end of photosynthesis, that is carried in the fluid. I have a way of helping my students to remember it. I just say fluid, food, and then obviously whatever's left is xylem, and that carries water. I hope that helps. There, by the way, there is a place where, um, or rather, I haven't done it, I will do a quick video on translocation and transpiration, if that would help anyone, because the, the movement of food is in phloems is uh, translocation. Really quickly then, uh, there are some adaptations that enable these vessels carry out their function properly. So specifically for xylem, I have, I have outlined three here, it's easy to remember. They're made of dead cells without cytoplasm. So the cells do not have cytoplasm. This creates a hollow canal. Yeah, it creates a hollow canal for water to flow through easily, all right? And then the side walls are very thick to ensure they don't burst. And then there's no cell walls between the cells so that there is quick flow of water. And in, in terms of the picture, I have put this together really quickly, a very simple version of it. Perhaps if I put it up here, it might be easier for you to see it if I have the camera on close up. So I have just said these are the thick walls right and then there is only one way flow of water and mineral ions yes i've indicated the thick side walls and you can see the hollow canal massive for water to flow through ions and mineral ion uh, water and mineral ions flow through that is the xylem now to the fluid the fluid vessel they have small cytoplasm to create a wide gap or tube to carry food they have plenty of mitochondria. Mitochondria is commonly referred to as the powerhouse because that's the site for respiration, where you know respiration is breaking down glucose to release energy. So any cell that you that you find in biology that's got a good supply of mitochondria, mitochondria is usually drawn like so. It's usually drawn in this manner. All right. Mitochondria is where respiration happens, and phloem have a good supply of uh, mitochondria. It means they they, they supply them with energy to pump food around the plant. Imagine at the end of photosynthesis, food uh, the food that's made is converted to, to sucrose and it has to be moved all the way from the leaves to the rest of the plant and into storage organs and where the plant needs it. Number three, there are holes present in the cell walls uh, to allow liquids to flow from one cell to the next very easily. Yes, yeah, like a sieve, there are holes that just allow uh, substances to flow through and that is the diagram of the phloem vessel all right you have between the two cells you see there are these cells they have end walls with holes to allow flow of uh, um, nutrients you have small cytoplasm to further increase the gap that you have for that flow to occur and there is a two-way flow remember one-way flow two-way flow so that is that on the adaptation of the xylem and the phloem vessels they are plant vessels which help in transpiration water xylem and translocation phloem food 
I hope that has been helpful. Please keep keeping positive, keep revising, keep smiling, have plenty of rest as much as you can, Take drink a lot of fluids, water mainly, and then remember to watch my videos and keep keeping positive, keep revising, and good luck with the revision.